Hello, hello! Bear with me one moment, please, everybody. Apologies for the lack of focus. Just getting in frame. Hi! Just making sure that I can talk to you guys through the comments. Just gonna wait for a few people to get on here. for some more people to get on. Hello, two people so far. Hi, I'm Mary from Country Chic. Thanks for popping in. We're going to be painting this lampshade when a few people join. Just going to make sure my comments are all hooked up. Whew. Need my paintbrush. We're going to use this one. I like this one. Got my paint ready. Okay. How's everybody doing? Let me know in the comments. Tell me where you're from, what time it is, maybe, for you. Okay, this is going to be a very easy project, very simple. Maybe you have um, an ugly lampshade. We can call this ugly. It's very plain. And this is a very beautiful, beautiful base for a lamp. So it definitely needs some decoration. Sarah, my coworker, picked this up from a thrift store. So it's been a little, it's been cleaned up. It's ready to go. Just needs a facelift. So can't wait to decorate this. Make that go quiet. Okay, so feel free to comment. I'd love to know what everyone's doing today. Maybe what you're working on, what you're painting, um, where you're from, your name, <laughs> anything you'd like to say. Uh, so as I mentioned, I'm Mary from Country Chic Paint. Um, I like to paint a lot and I'm stuck at home, maybe like a few of you are. So I just thought I would do this lampshade as a quick upcycle. I'm just gonna take the top off so it's easier to use. I thought about um, using Country Chic paint to do this up. I really like the glass. I kind of like the silver the way it is. I'm more of a bronze person, but I, I like it. So you could use paint over any part of this, but I think I'm just going to leave it as it is today and leave that off to the side. But this thing has been dented. It's a little dirty. It's, it's not my color either. So I'm going to decorate it with dune grass. That's this lovely teal color. And just for jumping on so early, I just wanted to share the Dune Grass, nope, Dune 10. That's the coupon for this week. It's good for um, a whole week, 10% off. Just use that code. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, Tanya. Um, okay, just gonna get started here. Uh, just a little prep if you wanted to. Um, I have a cat, so I'm just gonna use a lint roller to take off any unwanted lint because you might see those hairs pop up into your finish after a coat or two. So just a quick clean. Ooh, glad I did. That's gross. A bit hairier than the last time I passed over it. Nice and clean, ready to go. Very simple. Make sure you shake your jars. Kim from Delaware. Hey Kimberly, how are you doing? Okay. Does anybody have this color at home that I'm working with doing grass? Absolutely love it. I'm a big fan of the teals. So if you wanted to, you could spray down um, with a mister, and that might make the paint easier to go on. But I'm just going to see how straight paint looks across here. The first coat will always be a bit patchy. Don't worry about that. Paint, um, this kind of paint is great for upholstery, fabrics. Um, I've done a few of my own DIY napkins and really liked them. Uh, a couple co-workers have done t-shirts, pencil cases, upholstery, obviously. Plenty of that is able to be done. I like to work in the same motion. I don't think it will be doing enough coats that you won't see through this once the light is on. So it will be quite a bit darker because it is going to be a thick layer of something that you're applying over a lampshade. Even if you were to paint a light color, it would still be dark underneath. So just keep that in mind when you're painting lampshades. Oh, will I talk about the wall behind me? Um, well, my dad made this amazing paint rack for me. Um, and I used packing paper just from our warehouse. Uh, I like to just paint and uh, playing around with murals. So I thought I would do a little background here. That's actually a glass wall. I'm painting in a sunroom with 
like 360 windows. It's beautiful, but very hard to film in. So I had to cover that and I thought, why not with some flowers? So those are all just country sheet paint flowers. Um, I did the other side and just uh, taped them up. I have 40 pounds of craft paper to go through. So that felt like a good way to get rid of some. Okay, yeah, thanks. I'm glad you like doing grass. I will have to get you some. It's a great color. It's a very fresh color. Um, it looks good with glazes. I've seen somebody do a like 1920s buffet in dune grass, and then they used our tiger's eye glaze, which is a red base, uh, ready brown, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So be sure you ch to check out the sample finishes page on the Country Sheet Paint website for just ways to dress up paint. I don't think I would add anything to this. Um, with any upholstery, if it's right, you can always finish it up with some natural wax. I like to do that just so it has a softer touch and a little bit of a sheen, but not necessary. So this is nice. It's going on. I love it. Kind of looks like faux leather or suede or something now that it's painted. Yeah, I think I might change it out when summer comes along, do kind of a, a beachy theme. Um, I like to just give these pieces of paper to friends or something or, or um, just cut them up and frame them. It's a great way to reuse the art as well. They're very easy to draw too. If you just Google um, spring flower illustrations or something or doodles, drawings, um, you can learn how to do that yourself. So this first coat is going on pretty easily. I do have a hair dryer here to help speed up the dry times. You want to give each layer of paint about 20 minutes to an hour to dry if you can help it. Um, especially on furniture, wait a bit longer. Give plenty of prep time. The more you wait, the better the paint is adhered and it's ready for the next coat or top coat, whatever you're doing to it next. So definitely going to wait for this to dry just a bit. Now when you apply your first coat, you're going to think that it's going on beautifully and smooth and you don't need another coat. Wait for it to dry, turn the lamp light on, and you will see patches. That is a great way to know when you're done, when you no longer see patches when it's on. Uh, so just got to get the first layer down and we'll see how it looks. How is everybody's weekend? I know it's Tuesday and I missed the boat for Monday. but would love to hear how everyone's doing, what your plans are, how you're keeping active, what paint projects you're working on. Now, I have kept this pretty neat and tidy. I don't know if I want to paint the inside yet. If you find that you've made some messes, you might want to go all the way up uh, with your paint. Just depends on how uniform and how much people will see. Catching any drips here. Check lampshades with pleats. Um, with pleats on lampshades, I know what you're talking about. I would love to paint those because I don't think they come in nice colors naturally. Um, except maybe that pink. Uh, yes, definitely you can use this. I would use even the same kind of brush. This is an oval brush. Just go uh, lengthwise with it. Um, I think it would be too much ch more challenging than painting this one. It would be nice and easy to paint. Um, those accordion folded pleated lampshades. Um, I've had people ask what it's like to paint satin ones. I know that it's pretty much the same application, just a few thin coats. You can pretty much paint any lampshade you can think of. Um, any, anything at all, it kind of just goes down to our surface prep guide. Are you painting plastic? Are you painting uh, faux wood, fabric? Some fabrics might need um, some moisture, so just have a spray bottle handy but most of them can take just uh, a few thin coats of paint, just fine. So satin, fabric, plastic, any of that. Just know that once you've finished painting fabric and upholstery, it will feel painted to some degree. It does dry to a chalky matte finish. Um, I've seen some good upholstery look like faux uh, vinyl and the wax makes it a little shiny and soft. So lots of ways and tricks to make it look real. 
going to get this last spot here. So as it's drying, I can already see patches with the naked eye. So I'm just going to let that sit for a second here. And I'm just using a little four ounce sample jar. I knew that I didn't need anything more than that. I've, um, it was pretty much full and I've only used maybe a third of it. So quite a bit still left over. Oops. Ooh, sage advice would be a good one over this. Yeah. Um, so bear with me, I'm just gonna turn the hair dryer on. Um, just when you're trying to speed up the dry times for projects, just keep it on a low heat setting. It doesn't have to be blasted. You don't want to melt or crack over the paint. Sorry for the noise. So I've just let it dry for a little bit. Apologies about the hair dryer noise, that's annoying. Um, so I can see, it's dry to the touch in some areas. I can see quite a few spots where I was really confident that I got it all, but clearly I didn't. Um, but it is looking really good. So just a little preview of what this color could look like. Whoops. With your own amber colored glass lampshade. So you got some nice, nice color against that backdrop there. It's very cute, you could even add um, embellishments or do some kind of ombre with it. I would love to see an ombre lampshade. If anybody does that, let me know. Maybe I will transform this one again. Um, just gonna do one more quick pass. If you're still interested, we'll do another coat. are good. I think I'm just going to do one more quick pass, a second coat, because it did have a good chance to dry with that. Um, you'll find when you paint fabrics, uh, textiles, upholstery, that it does take a bit more paint than, say, wood furniture, just because it is soaking in. Um, if you have plusher fabrics, I wouldn't paint that really overstuffed couch. I wouldn't paint the whole thing necessarily. You might find you use a whole quart of paint or more. Um, it's best to always have a spray bottle handy or water down the paint, um, just kind of a, a bit of a drippy mix when working with that. But this is a very thin, nothing to it fabric, so very easy project. If you can paint your old lampshades, it saves you from having to go out and get a new one. Just googling some ideas for my own project, I saw some great like chevron cap came with it. I saw some great chevron like where you tape off sections and you create your own prints. Um, stencils would work on this too. The old potato stencil method could uh, do this. You don't have to go out to Michael's or buy any fancy stencils. A lot of that could just be done by hand. If you have any leftover fabric, a strip of pom-poms at the bottom would be very chic and bohemian. A lot of options. Oh, I want to do more to this lampshade than just paint now. <laughs> okay. So that's a 
another coat, a bit thicker. It is a muted gray, tealy blue, so it's not a bright pop of color, but I love it. Perfect for seaside coastal community where I live in. Very good. Does anybody have any lampshades at home that they would paint? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. We do have a Facebook group, uh, Country Chic Paint, just on Facebook, where everybody swaps ideas, takes pictures of their projects, and shows it all off. Um, if you have anything like this that you want to do, I would love to see your own project there. Um, it's a lot of fun seeing what everybody's up to. And we're also on Instagram, if you go that way. This is two coats of dune grass on a simple fabric lampshade. Not seeing any issues. It's a very easy project. It would be nice to do, I have a couple of lampshades. It might be nice to do a few neutral ones. Um, just for your own decor, just paint a few of them. Do a couple bright ones and then some neutrals, maybe in Pop the Bubbly or um, a gray like Sunday Tea. Maybe you just don't like the, the yellowy cream tint that your default lampshade came with. Spice it up. So I've made an entire second coat. I'm going to let this dry a bit longer than the last time, just give it a really good chance. Okay. So I didn't make any mess on the inside, I'm just going to clean up the trim. I think I'm going to leave the inside white though. That's optional, you can always paint the inside if you'd like. It won't make it any darker or brighter when you turn the light on. Oops, missed a spot in the seam. Okay. And you can always, for cleanup, you can just use a damp cloth to just dust that off um, when it is dry, of course. Or you can just use a feather duster, just as you would any other lampshade. Painting it doesn't make it more delicate necessarily, but definitely prettier. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to put that back on old lampy here. Okay, and just a reminder, you've got a coupon if you want to use it. That's Dune Grass. Nope, I keep saying that. Dune 10, sorry. That gets you 10% off the Country Chic Paint website. You don't have to order this color. It'd be awesome if you did, but totally optional. It's good for a week. Make sure you try it out. Yes, that's true, Beth. Um, when you paint it, you definitely won't get as much light as you did before. I'm actually a fan of having darker lamp shades. Um, I'm kind of just, when I'm in the living room, it's time to read or watch TV. I prefer it a little darker. So I don't mind that I'm blocking out the light with this one. Um, if that's what your concern is, you might want to think about just fabric, adding some fabric over top so it's still a bit transparent. Paint will add an opaque layer of something over there so you won't be able to see through. Um, it'll still shine up the tops though and have a nice warm glow, so that's what I was going for. And I'm pretty sure I will have that now. And I absolutely love it. It's got this vintage vibe and it's nice and modern on the top, so I love it. I am going to let this dry just a little bit um, and then I will show you guys on our Facebook page and maybe the Instagram stories um, how it turned out. I hope you guys like this. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and I would love to see your guys' lampshades uh, when you're done painting them. So be sure to share them. Um, yeah, so this was just a really quick demonstration. I hope you guys had a good time. I'm going to sign off now though um, and I will be back on uh, I think maybe tomorrow 11 o'clock same time. I will be on time. I will be on time. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Bye now.